What's going on guys, Aimless here, back back with another Black Desert video. Uh, this is going to be a guide for life scale. I know people want me to go more into depth into that. Um, I'm going to be doing cooking, mainly. The first thing I want to show you guys is something I think is really important to learn early on, which is beer. I suggest you do this until you get high enough to be able to make good feed. But with beer, it's going to take five cereal, six mineral, one sugar, and two leveling agents. The other thing really you could farm slash get from nodes is the cereals and cereals are just wheats like potatoes um, wheat and corn um, in order to actually cook you're gonna need a residency so open up your map go to whichever town you're at manage um, houses or whatever and then click purpose and then look for residency you got residency in all of them um, but yeah then you just invest into it um, another thing is the node right south of Ilia um, actually does potatoes um, and you just get a worker to work there which is a really good way to do it um, how you do it is you just want to go to node um, invest in it and then invest in the managed products um, the next thing you want to do is to where you get the rest of the ingredients is to go to the cook or the person who sells food um, supplies which is right over here uh, the way I do cooking is I get one of the ingredients and then I divide it by whatever it is so right here I had 1,500 potatoes and I divided that by 5. So I know I'm going to be able to make 300 in total. So I'll times the rest of them by 300. Um, as you can see I do have some cooking clothes on me. Which is really useful and I don't. I do recommend you get it if you could afford it. But if you can't then you don't really have to. Um, so yep, you just go here to the shop and since I already know how much I'm going to need. I just did all the math in a calculator. And then I bought everything. You can also buy um, cooking utensils here and the Balanos one. But I just bought mine off the central market for 400 You can also craft these and houses, which I'll show later on. So I, you just buy all of the ingredients that you will need. Uh, again, in order to do this, you do um, the times table like I was mentioning earlier. Um, you just want to get all the ingredients you need. It's What's really good about beer is you only need the grain so the potato the wheat or the corn just one of those you need all three and the rest of it you could buy from the ch chef npc so that's a really nice feature and this is why beer is probably one of the best things you could make as a beginner especially to get your cooking up uh, in order to make stuff like good feed or even meals if you want to get into meals or um imperial cooking if you want to get into that to make a lot even more money i do have cooking clothes as you can see I also do have pets that do help me with cooking XP. Um, I do recommend getting an alchemy stone if you if you could. They're pretty cheap. Uh, a life stone. Just a uh, basic like 360k one. Um, and with this you're able to get that cooking time down by a bit. Um, as you can see I do already have some imperial. I mean some supreme cooking utensil. Which we got for free from the Shy event. Back when Shy first came out. And a good thing about this is when you cook. You gain the knowledge on it and you could see already what the ingredients you will need. Do not make the mistake I made and put everything in there at once. What you want to do is put in the right ingredient materials. So you put in like for this you put in 5 potatoes, 6 mineral, 2 leveling agents and 1 sugar. I, I forgot about this and I don't know why I put everything in there at once. This was on me. This was my mistake. I should not have done that. But yep, we all learn from our mistakes at some point. But yeah, and then um, as you can see, this is another, the thing about life scaling that I like the most, it's majority of it all is AFK. So you could do this overnight um, if you want to watch a movie and just want to leave your Xbox on. Um, if you got somewhere out to go real quick, you could just leave this on. Uh, if, sure, if you want to read a book even, you know, just leave this on and you'll be able to do this, which is a really nice feature. This is what I like about life scaling. I usually... AFK fish, like I leave my Xbox on a night or an AFK train. Um, I'm going to share something that you could do with some of this. You could get some of this equipment. I have it in Glitch. It's the tool workshop. I have it at level 4, um, which is pretty easy to level up. And you could build everything here from cooking utensils to alchemy stables uh, to hunting rifles to fishing rods to floats. Uh, basically, everything you could use and life skilling, you could build here. Um, and another cool feature is it shows you what you need. So like that, you know what you could farm, what you could process, or you could heat up, we could have your workers make. And it does require workers to make this. You don't actually make it. So another good thing, you could set this up and then go grind all the rest of the day while this makes. 
And they usually don't take long. It's between in between like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Sometimes it could even be even longer depending on what you are making. So do keep that in mind. But this is something really nice to be able to do so like that. You're not just spending all your day crafting simple shit or simple stuff. Um, I do have a couple nodes invested here. I do have a node right here right next to it. I just, just get iron. So I'm able to come here later on if I ever need extra iron. Um, yeah, I could smelt it, turn it into ingots. Uh, a way to get, actually, um, uh, as you can see, we did finish it. My bad, just, I don't know what I'm saying. We did finish the beer. Uh, it did take a couple of, I don't know how long this took. It didn't take quite a long. But as you can see from each beer, you get around like one to four. I would say around there, or maybe even two to four. Um, we did end up getting 700 and something, and 24 cold draft beers. And of course, the higher your level is in cooking, the more cold draft beers you'll get. And a good thing to use is, is to feed your workers so they keep on working. If you're into life skilling, workers are an essential part to your, to basically to your necessities what you're doing. And you get workers from worker contracts right here. I did finish a bit of my adventure log. Uh, making the cold draft beer. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make a tutorial on that. I might or might not. I'm so not sure. Another important thing I feel like you should be able to do in cooking is making good feed for your pets, even to, for selling it. One thing I do gotta note though is you gotta be, um, you gotta be apprentice one, which is pretty quick. Just make all those beers, and you should hit, hit apprentice one pretty quick. Um, we need a six meat. One fish, three mineral, or four flour. What's cool about this is you can use any meat that has the same icon. So, weasel, wolf, um, the hog, I think, um, goats. So, all that. And for the fish, you don't have to use live fishes. So, you don't actually have to go out and fish. You could um, use dry, two dry fishes to replace the one fish, um, which is pretty good. It lets you be able to make more and be able to not have your inventory full of fishes um you could just go out cash fishes afk and dry them up but i'm gonna show you guys how to do a faster way to that by not buying in the central market um, i'm gonna show you guys a place i do like to go to to be able to get um, my meat i i know there's better locations like goat mountain which is right north of Hydo, but i usually like to go right here between crown castle and velio it's much quicker more time saving and you could kill wolves and weasels here. You are gonna need a butcher knife, so do keep that in mind. Take a couple if you don't have a high rarity one or you're still starting off. Yeah, it's a really good area to go. Um, you could have um, gatherers clothes just to make things quicker to get more XP. Um, I sold mine a while back. Um, I don't think I'm be buying one. They're not selling any. I usually buy mine at Pry. You could buy yours at Duo also, just for the quicker time and the more XP. Um, also, like I was saying, the alchemy stone, which is pretty good, the life spirit stone, it bring it cuts down the time, brings up the rates, and plus as you're gathering up by plus two. You see, the reason why I like this area is because it has weasels, and I'm able to just run around in a circle, kill wolves and weasels, and get two different types of meat, which I could use for the good feed. Um, but usually, you would just use one meat, and then if you run out of it, you switch over to the other one. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is pretty packed with just weasels and wolves. Um, there might be other people here. And a good thing about gathering, it's that you do get um, hards and sharps, which you could um, heat up with armor or weapon stones, depending on the type. And you're able to make concentrated weapon or concentrated armor stones, which you can use for enhancing. So like this, you don't have to waste two or one million. That's where Gold Mountain's at. I showed it real quick. Um, it's right north of... Hydo, uh, to the left of Hydo Pass. Um, so yeah, you just run around. You do get fairy powder from this too, which you could sell for quite a few. Um, I didn't know if this dude was gonna use it or not. I won't pay PM. So yep. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to get the flower. As you guys can see, I did get one heart from this, one heart sharp. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the flower. You just wanna open up processing, and then go to grinding. Um, and select your wheat that you're using, and use that. Um, but first I want to show you guys the node I'm using for the fishes, the dried fishes. Um, it's right north of Vilia. You do need a boat to get over here. 
um, and invest in it and then you invest in, in the node and you also invest in the managed product side okay um, and then you just have worker and the cool thing about this is you know it gives me dried dolphins or I don't know what the fuck that was um, I do get four type of dried fishes here which is pretty good this saves me quite a lot of time and I'm able to use different types of dried fishes if I ever run out of one um, in order to get that that um, wheat like I was I mean not wheat um, grind up wheat that I was talking the flour that I was talking about you just want to go to processing um, go to grinding select your wheat and just again another AFK process in the game so you want to watch a movie if you want to sleep then you just want to do mass production you just do whatever you need where it's grinding drying heating or chopping this is a really good thing there's one thing that about life scaling that I don't really like is the amount of AFK um, just because usually I, I like to grind most of the day and then I usually AFK either fish or my horse since I'm getting into horse breeding at the moment but yeah uh, another good thing is if you ever have extra you could either save it for future things that you might need or you could sell in the central market for quite a bit of profit so do keep that in mind um, so don't worry if you have if you buy extra of one thing you could always just save it or sell it um, as right here I'm going to show you guys what type of meat you could use you don't you just have to use meat just make sure the same icon so you could use lamb you could use wolf you could use raccoon bear rhino deer fox pork beef weasel you just get the point as long as it looks the same you can use snake you can use chicken and you can use i think lizard you can use those so keep that, that in mind again this the amount of wheat flour you get is usually between one to four if i'm not mistaken so this is kind of grandy it is quite a process so this is something again like i'm stating i cannot say this enough this life skilling is an afk to a game but once you get higher up in life scaling, you could make quite a profit from it. It's from uh, alchemy, if I mean, from imperial cuisines, imperial alchemy, uh, and all of that stuff, which is pretty good. Uh, even from fishing, you could make a lot, especially in the future ones that bring out monster hunting. I mean, sea monster hunting, which you could bring about, if I'm not mistaken, in PC, you could bring about 10 billion a week in PC from uh, sea monster hunting. Which isn't uh, yeah, uh, which isn't out yet on Xbox, but once that is released, and now I will show you guys the guide once I finally get down and earn it. Again, I have cooking clothes, and I also have pet buffs. Um, so, and I also have the alchemy stone, which is gonna make this experience much better for me. But of course, if you're starting out, don't worry. Don't worry if you can't make the cooking utensils. You can always buy the basic one from the from the chef. So don't worry about any of that. Again, if you have the knowledge on it, you could just open up the knowledge and see the ingredients so right here. You would just need six meat, one live fish, or two dried fishes. This is what I'm saying dried fishes, dried fishes are better because they stack. That's really good. Three mineral water and four flour. Um, and the thing I like about good feed is that for the amount you make, you get quite a lot out of it. You usually get between 5 to 4 feed between each um, cuisine. As you see, I got 5 feed just from one. Um, usually good feed, it's used for your pets. So it's really good to have you go sell it. As you see, I got 243 just from the 56 I made. Which is a pretty good yield, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to AFK this um, all night maybe. Um, I think I might just buy everything off the central market, except the flower could always make that. The thing about this is that the pets just take five feed each to max out their hunger. So if you have a full team of four, and it does take 25, if you only have one pet, well, you're on luck. Um, the more pets you got, the more loot you can pick up quicker, the higher the tiers, the quicker they pick up. They also do give you, um, um talents. There's their talents and their skills. That go up in skill XP, alchemy XP, and all that good stuff. So that's why it's good to have a variety range of pets from all of this. I I think that's the only two things I really want to talk about in cooking. Um, just for the basics, those are really the only two major ones you want to know. 
Um, next, we're going to be talking more into processing metals. You could mine metals. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just harder to actually find the rotation that isn't already been used up or people aren't fighting you for it or killing you for it. Um, usually people who life skill have like their character at 49 just so people can't kill you while you're you're now farming stuff. But again, you could use gatherer's clothes just to make all of it quicker. You could use processing clothes also. Um, I'm just going to show you guys right here. Um, if you do want to get the wood yourself, you could just run around and go up to any tree and chop it. So um, it usually gives you... Um, it always gives you one or a couple of the name. So since I did a fur tree, it gave me some fur. But it will always give you logs. Um, I don't know what I was doing. And you can always chop down the logs. You would need 10 logs. You chop it down. You get blankets, which is pretty good. You chop down the named one. I think 10 also. And you get, if I'm not mistaken, plywood. But we'll get more into wood and chopping later on. Of course, um, gathering, like butchering, using the tanning knife. Um, fluid collector on the trees for sap and all that good stuff does fall on their um, gathering so do keep that in mind um, here is in Trent I do have the cedar uh, timber note and the uh, fairy timber note um, you just go to them again invest in them and invest in the workers and have it and you could just have them work in there I mean later on again I'll show you guys how much wood I have gotten over the last past few months I don't really go over there um, another good note to add is uh, hydros right right here you could you could you do get iron and copper from it that's a really good note to have it gives you two uh, metals which is pretty good and everything goes into your storage um, which is useful um, if you ever run into the issue like I oh, again a thing to remember is that Metal does weigh a lot, so do keep that in mind. Another thing to do keep in mind is that ore does weigh a lot. So, yeah, so as you can see, I do have quite a bunch here. Um, it does weigh a lot, but I forgot I still had some dried fishes on me. But a nice feature in this game is that you're able to just put it in here, and if, the, and if it's able to transport it, it will transport it. Just make sure you do have a little bit of coins inside of your storage. You're still going to run into the same issue I ran into. Um, of course, first you also want to select the destination and how to transport it. Um, so yeah, as you can see right here, I did not have any funds. So I got insufficient funds. It sucks that it doesn't take the funds from your character. So you just have to have some on the storage, which I think it's kind of kind of pointless to do that like that. But I mean, I understand. I guess if they have to do it, then they have to do it. Um, yeah, and it could, depending on how far it is, it will take a set amount of time. The closer it is, the quicker it gets there. The less money you need, the farther it is, the longer it takes, and the more money you will need to send it over there. Um, you can also get into processing right here. You just melt it down, heat it up. Again, another AFK thing. Um, basically, everything in life scaling is all AFK, majority of it. Um, as you do get uh, the melted, whatever it is, where it's iron, copper, you just get the melted version of it. And what you could do, I have this on, over here in Glish. I do have the uh, the worker for, I do have the mineral work, work, work shop, work, workshop, which you could turn them into crates to trade. Um, you could, then you could turn it into egg. Uh, you're able to turn them into ing ingots. Um, I almost stutter with that word again. Um, yeah, from everything from zinc to copper to gold to platinum, it'll show you how much you need. Uh, if you're a Dooney Coal, I'm going to show you guys a good node you could get right north of Keflan. Um, it's the Keflan Curry node. Um, and you could get coal here, just invest into the worker, have a worker, and it will be at the Keflan um, storage. Um, just for just a few items, and then what well, majority of this is used for is if you have a again the tool workshop, you could use the ingots into tools and the trees into tools. So, like that, you don't have to keep on wasting money, you could just use your resources on these. And I mean, I guess it's pretty good. I mean, I don't mean, I guess it's 
pretty useful for cooking utensils, hunting rifles, fishing rods, um, all of that good stuff. And the thing is, I'm not going to be going into hunting and fishing just because those are kind of self-explanatory. Um, hunting, um, you could you could open up your quest, go to suggestive and click on the hunting one. It'll take you to the whole hunting quest that levels you up and explains it. Um, so yeah, and you call it hunt monsters that have the actual monster symbol on them and are not a red dot. Fishing, just get a fishing rod, you could cast out AFK fish, get a boat, sail out, and fish like that. Um, it is good to get your fishing and hunting up, I, I, in my opinion, especially early on. Um, especially for the triple flow fishing rod, which is a quest that you need to be, I think, skilled two in fishing to unlock. So, but that's for a future video I'm making for the for the reward quest you do get from the few. I don't know what his name is that one that they added. Um, another thing that metal could be used for is if, is for jewelry, um, siege weapons, and wagons. Or horse gear, as you see, if you're making siege weapons, you just need the melted version, the melted shard, um, or even ingots. Even to upgrade them for war and siege, they're really useful. A lot of people ask you to bring them. Um, my thing is for jewelry, if you want to get into that, for your, either if it's for your journal book and you need the the Manos Ruby one, you could make it all if you're making crescent rings and all of that. But do keep in mind, you do need Yonos fragments, which... Um, I wouldn't say they hard kept, but you just gotta find mobs. They drop them. Um, if you run into the grave robber, usually in the desert when you're farming and you kill him, you'll usually drop like a couple of seals, one to two to three seals, um, and some ingots. So do keep that in mind. Um, some of the rest of crystals, uh, I'm not sure. Crystals you can mine them, or what I do is I buy my crystals. Um, you also get them from from bosses like if you're doing scroll bosses and all of that one thing i really used on my this is really more for trees i use this all on my wagon parts if especially for trading they do help because they add set bonuses where it's more weight you could carry the speed um resistance to it uh the the stability of the trade items you have so i suggest you do this um you can also i think it's here you could get the the noble wagon but i just don't have the, the node invested in anymore and for some reason i couldn't find it when i was looking for it so yeah this does take a long time so i'm not just gonna afk do this just for again sake of time man this is time consuming so just keep that in mind um the next thing i'm gonna be talking about is is i'm gonna go to trent and show you guys the process over there that i have set up and we could do with um, either if you're chopping trees or have the, your workers living there. As you can see, these are my stats. Um, I mean, I, I'm, they're not the best, I know. I do have some other stats on other characters. Again, if you don't want to start fresh, you could always make a shy. She does have, if I'm mistaken, gathering, processing, and alchemy up to, I think, professional. Um, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even cooking. But I could be wrong about that. Um, another good thing is, as you level them up, you do get rewards for them. Um, which is pretty good and they give you useful stuff um, I'm not gonna be going into hunting and fishing um, I'm gonna skip over the wood stuff I don't go quick into trading um, like another good thing for trading is for beginners they just get the trend supply tool it's the first one uh, just talk to a trade manager and you could just buy a couple depending on how much your wagon get you could get a wagon by either making one or by talking to a stable manager and buying the farm wagon as you see, I have a farm wagon. And the thing about this that's cool is all of the stuff you buy goes automatically onto your horse. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can't carry any of it on you while you're trading. Um, make sure that, especially from Trent to Vilius, since they're really far away, you get more money just for trading it. So make sure you have all the nodes connected, as you see, as I do have them, all connected from all the way to Trent, all the way to Vilio. Now this takes a long time make sure you watch out for bandits and other players they could attack you and will destroy your horses um if you ever have trouble with the nodes invest in it and if it says sorry we are not able to connect it please find the other node it will usually auto path you to the node before that so like that you're able to connect nodes in case you are missing any um my bad guys i was watching the pearl of this stream and they just shouted me out for 
being really good with guides for beginners so hopefully this guide is just as good as that and you guys do learn a lot from this and i'm able to help you guys even a bit more um but yeah as you can see i don't know i don't need i forgot how long this even took me it took me quite a bit to get here um i just want to go make food and eat um that's really that's that's another thing about this um and then after this you just want to uh, equip all of it into your inventory you this is another good way to build up your weight um, I usually I don't ever do this I don't build up weight usually I just do stamina and health stamina you get it just by running everywhere health you get it just by eating food um, but weight this is how you do it but I don't do it personally but there's nothing wrong if you do it uh, you just want to talk to them a thing I always recommend if you have the energy for it is bargaining by bargaining you bring up the price of your items which is a really good feature. Just I keep on spamming it. And of course the higher you trade. The more loot you'll get. Um, and what you could do is. Take medicine over to Trent. Um, either or. It doesn't really matter which one you take. You take over the medicine. Um, usually the one that's more expensive. Because you get more money out of it. Um, of course the higher you're trading. The more. The more money you'll get out of this. Now trading I don't really do it personally. But I mean if you want you could do it. Um. That's another part of the life skilling that hopefully people who are into trading could start getting into it. Um, now, next for farming, I show you the note. It's Marino's Plantation, right to the southeast of Heidel. Um, you just talk to the node manager right there and you get um, farm plots or plantations um, or fences. My bad, you get fences and you would need seeds. So, usually I buy basic seeds and then I, after my my crops are finished producing i don't harvest them i breed them to have a chance to upgrade them in rarity and once they're upgraded in rarity i only breed the amount i need for the amount of space i'm using and i harvest the rest of them um usually me personally i do carrots just because i don't have to buy them and carrots really are used a lot for for just horses so if, if especially once you get those like tier 7, tier 8, even dream horses once they come out. You're going to consume carrots a crazy amount. But I can't I can't thank you guys enough for the support I've been getting. I can't. It's crazy for Prolobus to shout me out. Um, but it's crazy. I'm really happy that I got this. And hopefully everything goes good from here on out. Um, also, Dr Dragon has been announced. A new, one of the, I think it's a new region. I'm not sure, but it comes with a new boss, a new town, I think new farming I'm, I'm gonna make a video on that um wednesday once it drops go over what it dropped the new area um i'm not sure about the world boss if i'm gonna actually record me fighting it because we all know how bdo has been kind of lately the servers have been shaky this is a nice place this is a nice place i like to come for my planning um it, it cannot be in safe zones and it cannot be in conquest zones where you can build stuff um usually i just come over here and i usually like to place them right next to each other so like that um I know where they're at and just so they're closer to me. So it just hope you had a lot. Um, and then you just go into there um, and you would hold Y. You First you hold LT and then you hold Y. Um, and you place them. One crowd takes one of these blue squares. Um, especially with uh, this one you could place up to seven. There is other ones they could get. But personally I don't use those big ones since I'm not really into farming. Um, you could also get hard and sharps from this. So do keep that in mind and just know this helps you out a lot. Um, but yeah, it does show you how long it will take. Usually I have an off character here just to keep maintenance. Um, because maintenance is what really helps you get your XP up. Um, because if you send the worker out here, um, you you don't get XP, especially for farming. Um, usually you only get XP for breeding, um, harvesting, and for keeping your your crops in place um so that's a really good thing so yeah uh, hopefully i covered everything in life school i know i didn't cover um fishing and hunting those are pretty self-explanatory um pretty easy and alchemy i personally don't do alchemy so i don't want to cover alchemy and give you guys false information on alchemy but you could create any type of pots and potions that you guys see um so if you are into alchemy that's something i recommend you do you look further into but me personally i cannot do it um, these are the type of seeds that you would want to buy. Um, don't buy anything too expensive. You could just, for me personally, I could carrot seeds. Um, since all the wheat seeds, you're able to get it yourself. So yeah, keep an off character here. Come maintenance it. 
Um, if you do leave your garden unattended after a while, it does go into your storage. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was a good tutorial. Hopefully you guys did learn a lot from this. If you have any questions, like always, hit me up on Reddit. Um, hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash aimlessow. If I'm ever live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash aimless0w. Uh, um, leave it down in the comment section below. If this, if this did help you out, please leave a like, share it, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Show it to all your friends. Here I'm showing you uh, a suggested quest to do for hunting if you want to get into hunting. Um, especially if you want to do like callus. Um, of course, there's other type of there's sea hunting too. So you can farm whales, but I haven't done them yet, so I really can't help you guys. Again, guys, I just started getting back into video recently. Thank you guys again for 100 subs and for all the love you guys have been showing recently. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it to like a video every two days, maybe a, a video back to back if I'm able to. Um, I'm still working on the Lahuth. I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce the name the the free the pro items for your trouble i'm still working on that video so i do expect it out um sometime this week i know it finished already but i still need to get the triple rod fishing rod and so i need to get the glimmer uh glimmerly uh fairy for the 20 common civil blessings the triple rod fishing rod i don't really recommend you do it you could do it if you want um, i might go into that more in depth into a video as to why i'm not going to be doing it so yeah if you have any questions please let me know hope you enjoy the video